Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here, and I'd just like to say thank you so much for a million subscribers. If you enjoyed this celebratory video, please check out the 14 new channels I'll be launching in 2021, as this really helps spread the good word of my channels. Welcome to Modest Pelican Baking, where we're going to prove that women aren't the only ones who belong in the kitchen. Join me on my 15 season long journey, where I'm going to bake the moistest muffins of all time. Welcome to Modest Pelican Pranking, the number one pranking channel on the internet. Today we're going to raise the bar of social acceptability by committing the first ever homicide live on stream tonight. Welcome to Modest Pelican Gardening, where we put the word thick into the phrase, hey, that's some thick vegetation over there. Smack my ass like the drum. Welcome to Modest Pelican Dating, where I'm going to help you find true love. For 15 payments, totaling $1,700, I'll walk you through the art of seduction. Hi there, attractive girl. I cry after making love and I have deep underlying daddy issues. That's really hot. Welcome to Modest Pelican Reacting, where I'm going to react to other people's content in a thinly veiled attempt to get people to like me. This guy sucks at Call of Duty, but he's never even got a nuke before. Welcome to Modest Pelican Rapping, where we only release certified hip-hop Christian bangers. I like thick bitches and sick scriptures, they please us. The only man I'll get on my knees for is Jesus. Welcome to Modest Pelican Shaving. I genuinely just needed to shave, so I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. Welcome to Modest Pelican Driving, the best car channel on the internet. Welcome to Modest Pelican F420 Football Freestyle, where in the words of everyone who's ever kicked a soccer ball, I could have played professionally if I didn't get so many injuries. Join me next week when I open a thousand FIFA packs and then probably do a little blow. Welcome to Modest Pelican Fortnite, where I pretend to enjoy playing Fortnite. Today we're going to try the Silly Dancing Banana Challenge. Don't forget to use code Somebody Save Me. I'm dead inside in the item shop the next time you make a purchase. Welcome to Modest Pelican Hydrating, where we strive to help you stay sufficiently hydrated at all times. This week we're going to talk about how to negotiate a glass of water when in a hostage situation. Being held hostage can be a real dampener on your day, especially when your fellow hostages are being executed around you. But it'll be a whole lot brighter for the fresh glass of God's nectar wetting your beak. Welcome to Modest Pelican News, where we report the hard-hitting truth unless someone pays us to say something else. Join us tonight for our investigative series exploring the positive side of child labour. Welcome to Modest Pelican Fashion and Beauty, the home of the sophisticated here on YouTube. Every week we're going to talk about a different way to wear the heavily underrated fedora. Welcome to Modest Pelican Science, where we push the boundaries of the intellectual world. Tomorrow we're going to see how much hydrochloric acid Stealth Omato can drink before his stomach lining completely dissolves. 2021 is going to be an exciting year. But for real, thank you guys. I started this channel just for fun, and so to see it grow the way it has absolutely blows my mind. I love each and every one of you intimately, and I can't thank you enough. I asked the good people of my Discord server to ask me any question they wanted, and so I'm going to answer those now. Yeah, so I'll get rid of my face now because you're probably sick of looking at me. Uh, Patet starts us off with, why did you start YouTube? I've always loved gaming and I've always just enjoyed making people happy with my mouth, as in speaking, of course. But um, yeah, and I just thought I'd combine those two things together and then seeing people just be happy when I uploaded my videos, I was like, oh shit, like this is really fun. I want to make this my job. What made me choose the name Modest Pelican? I usually just give meme answers to this, so for once I'll answer it seriously. I wanted something that wasn't at all similar to anything anyone else had, and then Modest Pelican just popped into my head, and I was like, this this, will, this could work. Do I enjoy making videos? Oh, absolutely, man. Absolutely love putting stuff together. Uh, the feeling of pressing publish and just seeing everyone happy is, yeah, it's the best. Which YouTubers would you like to get to know and play with the most? Well, my favorite YouTuber or streamer is T90. He does like Age of Empires 2 commentary, which is really random, but he absolutely slays it. I'm ma a massive fan of his. So it would be great to get a beer with him for sure. Why are my parents clapping? Ah, uh, they're just they're just so proud of you and the, the man you've become. What are your future plans for the channel and where do you want it to go? Well, I'm really grateful and happy with how things have gone, but I sometimes get like almost not overwhelmed, but it's like, oh my God, we just hit a million subscribers and I'm just still some dodgy malacca just banging these videos out on like my computer and Xbox and stuff. But um, 
I really just want to keep improving the quality of my content, keep having fun with it. Like I really enjoy what I'm doing. I'm really happy to have the second channel, Papa Pelly, like talking to you guys live on Twitch and then turning that into content is really cool. So yeah, just, yeah, I'm just excited for 2021 for sure. When was your first girlfriend and how long have you been with your current? My current girlfriend and I have been together for about five years. She's the best. We'll probably get married eventually. But um, my first proper girlfriend was probably in year 12. I remember I went over to her house and she was trying to like orchestrate some alone time for us. And her dad just came into the kitchen like two meters from where we were, we were sitting and just starts chopping this watermelon with the biggest knife you've ever seen and just looking me dead in my eyes. I was like, be careful you don't cut your finger off. Like you're not even looking at what you're doing. And it was, it was pretty intimidating. He was like ex-military but I still hit. Can you send me water? I live in Africa. Um, it's funny that you bring this up. I really want to do some uh, like hydrating Africa charity streams. So look out for that in 2021. What did you study in college? Uh, well, I studied architecture for two years, but I was kind of pretending to be a student just to get my family off my back. And then I went ahead and completed an accounting degree. It was actually really fun and enjoyable. Uh, accounting is really cool. No, I'm kidding, it's terrible. I was the only Caucasian in my classes. It was like me and 29 Indians who were probably smarter than me. And yeah, really questionable choice. Where did the Sons of Virgins meet? We actually all met online, which is pretty crazy, uh, playing Battlefield 1. But since then, I've met them all heaps in person. Uh, once or twice a year, we try and like rent a house and have a big party, which is really fun. And yeah, they're all absolute legends, except maybe Stealth Omato. When's the face reveal? I'm just not quite ready to show my face yet. I mean, there's been some, there's been some slip ups like this vlog, for example, I accidentally filmed myself doing all these different channels and then I accidentally edited it together and uploaded it to YouTube. But yeah, like I'll show my face when I'm, when I'm ready. Are you really a Christian? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Christian enthusiast. What will happen if someone is dehydrated? Look, it's definitely not where you want to be, that's for sure. But I think you take them outside and you, you put a gun to their head and, and pull the trigger. The favorite part about being a YouTuber? This is gonna sound kind of corny, but it's just genuinely the community. Like you build a brand and a channel and then this like, you know, a community forms around you and you just get to like interact with them and like people joking about hydration and Jesus. And that is some, that's some wholesome shit. What are your cat names? Well, I've got two cats. We've got Mochi, who we saved from a rescue shelter. And we've got Fat Tony, who just showed up at our house and wanted food. And then he lost the weight. So we changed his name from Fat Tony just, just to Tony. Where do you get the sarcastic Australian virgin voice from? Well, when I very first started making videos, I couldn't figure out how to like record my voice while I played live. It just sounded terrible. Um, so I just did the post commentary because I was just messing around anyway. And yeah, here we are today. Have you ever received an accidental dick pic from one of your mates and got secretly aroused? Oh, for sure. I think, you know, multiple times a week, we'll accidentally send each other a dick pic. I accidentally got in the shower with one of them for like 10 minutes. And yeah, I've accidentally made obviously sweet love to all of them. So yeah, there's been a, there's been a few slip ups. What is the hydration memes origin? Well, I genuinely do drink a weird amount of water, like five, six liters a day. Like I'm so thirsty all the time. And I can't tell you how privileged I feel to be able to drink so much water. And I want other people to stay hydrated and stay healthy. And I know it's a joke, but like, I swear to God, I actually really want to, hide, want to hydrate the world. Have you ever been sexually aroused in church? It's kind of a weird question because like, imagine being flaccid in church. That'd be so embarrassing. What's your favorite game? Now, this is a really hard question, but I think it'd be out of either Grand Theft Auto San Andreas or Rocket League. I play so much Rocket League. It's, I'm so addicted. It's the best. When you reach one mil, will you continue to read comments? I think instead of doing that, I'll just develop an ego and become like really unrelatable and like flex my like women and money and my like average sized dick all the time and like become like a yeah cringe YouTuber. I'm really excited for the future. What's the dumbest thing you've ever done slash regret the most? I was once riding around on a quad bike on a Greek island, Mykonos, and I rear-ended this car. And there was like this big scene, the police came, they took our passports and phone, and they were like flashing their guns around because we were pretty unhappy because it was like a low speed chase. There was no damage, I mean crash. But yeah, they were like trying to make me pay like a lot of money. So I tried to come up with this scheme where we were gonna sneak off a Greek island. And I tricked them, like phase one worked. I tricked them into giving our passports and phone back. And then I was gonna sneak off on this ferry or I was trying to get a speedboat. And then mum called and she was on the phone with the, like a three-way call with the Australian embassy. And they were like, who the f 
do you think you are, Jason Bourne? Like, pay the money. You can go to jail for this. So yeah, I guess I regret almost trying to escape a Greek island. Make an OnlyFans? I don't think there's a market for it, but should the views drop and I get desperate, I'll, I'll start spreading those butt cheeks. How tall are you? I'm five foot one. Is your mic broken or did your voice just decide to be lower than my self-esteem? Look, I don't know what goes on with my voice. I just, whatever, whatever's happening, I just talk and that's, it is what it is. What's been your favorite series you do on your channel? I think my ongoing favorite is of course the Sons of Virgins because I just love playing with my mates and getting them involved. Why are you so into Hitman? Uh, it's one of my favorite franchises of all time. I've been playing Hitman since I was so young and I love making content on it and playing it. Plus like just man to man respectfully, Agent 47 has a great dick on him. Are you dating Stealth Omato? Look, I don't like to put labels on it, but we do go out for a lot of dinners. We do have a lot of lovemaking. We do introduce each other to each other's families as uh, our partner. So make of that what you will. How does it feel to have gathered a large following? And do you ever feel overwhelmed? If so, why? I was talking about this earlier. I think there was a brief moment when I started to get traction where I started to feel a little bit stressed because there was like expectations. But fortunately for me, that really didn't last very long. I'm really lucky that naturally I'm a pretty happy person and I just like making other people happy. So if I can make someone's day a little bit better then and that's my job, then what a great wicket to be on. And yeah, I think I'll wrap up the Q&A there. I just want to say thank you again so much for helping me reach this milestone and just being so supportive. Like I do just have an insane community. You guys you guys are amazing. I hope you all have a great Christmas or had a great Christmas and a good New Year's. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.